Oh, this is a cute little camera. 15 to 45. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, it's alright. Wow. It's not bad, little camera. <laughs> Yeah, it is rolling. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Put that in there. So this song is about a girl who moves out to L.A. to pursue her dream as an actress. Instead, she works as a waitress, and eventually she does become a famous actress, but it's because she changes who she is, and she ends up not being happy. So when I was first coming up with the idea for this music video, I thought that I would play the main character. I also had this idea that I wanted my friend Sydney to be in the video because she's been on my YouTube channel before and I thought it'd be like a fun cameo thing. I pictured her also on the red carpet scene. And then I thought it'd be cool if the two of us actually were waitresses and then somehow I'm still both on the red carpet later. And then I realized it made sense for me to play the narrator since that's who I actually am in the song too. That's like the perspective. And for somebody else to play the main character. So then I realized Sydney would be perfect for that. So it was kind of funny. We were talking later about how at first it was such a small commitment and then it became <laughs> like a much bigger commitment in the end. <laughs> but Sydney was happy to do it and she did such an amazing job too. So for the longest time, the only thing that I knew about this video was that I wanted to shoot it at a restaurant since I thought we would be waitresses. I just didn't have any connections to like a restaurant and didn't know how we were going to do that. So one day I was driving to Indiana with a friend. We were going to a gig. We had a long time to talk and he mentioned that his family owned a restaurant in Chicago. So I asked him later if we could possibly shoot there and they said yes. They were so kind and generous. The place is called Bistro Campan. If you're ever in Chicago and you want to go, it's a really beautiful place. Do you think you can pour waters for everybody? Yeah. Only done in a million times. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> only, only done it a thousand times. I had planned to work with some filmmakers in Chicago, but that fell through. So I messaged my friend Landon in LA to see if he knew anybody in Chicago. And I sent him the song and he loved the song and offered to come out from LA with his friend Derek to shoot the video, which was awesome. So they flew out with like eight bags of film equipment. They stayed at my apartment for five days. I fed them and Landon took my room. Derek took my second bedroom and then I was sleeping on a mattress in my living room. The first day of shooting was at the restaurant and this was a huge shoot day. We had so much to do. We started at 8 a.m. and finished at 11 p.m. Pretty much just non-stop working. And action on rehearsal. Do you dream of gowns and walking the carpets? But for now, get by the dresses from Target. And do you dream some night you'll see your name up in lights so you can say it was worth it? A bunch of my friends and family played extras in this video. So a lot of y'all noticed that my mom was in the background of the first scene. <laughs> and then the couple who gets water spilled on them, those were my godparents. And then the grumpy boss was my uncle. Who is it playing the... My uncle. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> Face palm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was super happy we got to use these cameras as props. They belong to my grandpa and I found them in an old suitcase. They're just like a bunch of vintage cameras in there. Um, so I was glad that they got a second life by being in this video. So we actually shot the red carpet scene at the restaurant also. We shot it on the back patio and I don't think that you can tell it's also at the restaurant, which is cool. So we got kind of like two locations in one. The props that are on the red carpet were definitely the toughest to get for this video. These metal poles are called stanchions. I found them on Facebook Marketplace, but they're out in Michigan. So my mom and I did an eight hour road trip to go get these things. <laughs> and then also this banner, it's called a step and repeat. This was custom ordered. You can see my name is written all over it. 
A bunch of my friends also came out to play paparazzi extras, and I was kind of worried that people wouldn't want to do this part of the video because we were shooting outside in Chicago in the middle of November, and it was pretty cold. It was like 40 degrees. I also didn't want people to wear coats because I wanted it to look like we were in LA since that's where the song is set. So I called everyone and asked them about that, and everyone was like, oh, no worries. That's totally fine. <laughs> Sydney was probably the coldest because she was just in this dress so thank you to her for putting up with the cold. <laughs> I wanted to get this all done before it started snowing and it actually snowed that night after we got home from the shoot so we really timed the, the shoot just right. <laughs> One of my friends got super into the role of the paparazzi. Okay Alex! There's one scene on the red carpet where Sydney signs a photo of herself, but she signs it with her name Scarlet, which is from the lyrics of the song that she changes her name. And I asked Sydney to send me some headshots of herself, which she did, but they all had her brown hair. So we did a super last minute photo shoot of her in the blonde wig um, just to get this photo. And shout out to Pam for lending us all these wigs. She's my songwriting student from Nevada. We also borrowed these two dresses from Sydney's friend Maddie. And in this photo, Sydney's actually wearing the pink dress that the other girl was wearing. I photoshopped it to be blue, just in case anybody happened to notice that little detail. I didn't want it to be confusing in the story. Sydney also came up with the choreography for the video. I had this idea that it would come back three different times. The first time is when we're friends at the restaurant. The second time is when we're at the apartment and we have a fight. And then the third time was going to be on the red carpet. It was going to be group choreography with all the other people on the red carpet. And I just ended up not loving how it looked. And we had so much other footage that looked really, really good that we cut out that last dancing part. But everybody did a great job. And then the final scene was probably my favorite. I just think it was so deliciously tragic when Sydney and I see each other again. We shot this last scene maybe a dozen times. So because of that, we had a whole bunch of glasses half filled with wine. So when we were finally done with the shoot, we all had a glass and celebrated together. Then we did the second shoot day. We were all pretty exhausted for the second shoot day because the first day was so much. You can see me yawning in a lot of the clips. We didn't get started till probably like one or two in the afternoon, um, but it was a much chiller day. Like it was just Sydney and me plus Landon and Derek. It was a lot less planned out compared to the day before, but that one was just super, super planned out. Um, I was really happy with how Landon edited this scene. I thought he did such a great job with the storytelling. Uh, shout out to Steve for letting us borrow his blue backdrop. And the rest of the props were actually my YouTube setup. Like we used my lighting equipment and my camera for this scene. So the next day was a crazy rush to get Landon and Derek to the airport. We also had to return all the film equipment that we rented and return the U-Haul truck. They almost missed their flight, but they did not. They made it. <laughs> and yeah, so that's how we made the video. It was so much fun to make. I love how it turned out, but more than that, I love the process and how much fun it was and also that so many of my friends and family got to be a part of it like it was really special to do it with them and also to see it now and yeah I just I really loved it can't wait to make the next one it's gonna be really fun so thank you for watching the behind the scenes I hope that was interesting and I'll see you in the next video bye oh I wasn't recording <laughs>